Do you like my hair? <laughs> you look like Mary. Uh, who? <laughs> Mary Chain. Mama White Chain. Mama, why you opening my stuff? <laughs> I don't want that. So I just got out the shower. Whew. I feel like I'm just starting off late today. I didn't really get much sleep last night. It was just a mess. It looks so pale and I'm shaky. I'm shaky this morning. But as you guys see, I'm having some tea. And yeah, I'm about to get dressed. Ready for this support group that they're having here. So, yeah, but let me, let me take a breathing treatment. Let me call for a breathing treatment because I'm just, I don't know what's going on. So, I'll see y'all in a little All right, so today I'm having this salad for lunch with some restaurants, ranch dressing. And then I also heard that if you put this on a salad, it's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and try it with this. But yeah, okay. So this salad actually looks pretty nice, right? So if the kitchen keep on, I'm going to have to call and give them a good review. Well, just for this stuff that I'm ordering lately. So yeah, be back in a minute. I have my little mustard dress. And I think I'm gonna just put on a little makeup. I don't want on a lot of makeup because I really don't feel like putting on makeup. But I'm gonna call for my breathing treatment because I, I need one. Um, yeah, and I just have on my, this is my shorter curly wig. I haven't got to the other one yet, but I will be working on that this weekend. Shorter one that I've had for like two years now, so. Yeah, anyways, I'll see y'all when I get my makeup on. All right, y'all, so I am ready. Whew. I'm not gonna tell y'all how many problems I was having. You know how you just try to get dressed. You can't find stuff, you can't, nothing's going right, but you just make it. <laughs> so that's what I just did, I just made it. I put on a little bit of makeup, like five little, little dots, little powder, lipstick, eyeliner, and that's it. Do my eyebrows. I am ready to go. Two o'clock. It's almost two o'clock and yeah, I'm just gonna chill and relax for a little bit. And take a breather. I'm gonna take a breather. <laughs> Okay, the support group is over with. It was, it was cool. It was cool to judge other people's story. But have you guys ever been to a support group? Let me know, did you like it? Or support group, were you a participant in it? Y'all know I'm black, so. They was like, did any of y'all wanna take something back? I said, yeah. So I got me some crates and a pecan pie but I already got some brownies. Well, I already ate the brownies. So, I'm going to put it over. Oh, that's a cute picture. Oh. Oh, wow. It's four o'clock, y'all. I was just thinking about how it just took so much just to get dressed, like, I'm, I'm literally tired. I'm ready to go to bed. Basically saying that to say that the struggle when you don't feel good and to get dressed is worth it. It makes you feel a little bit better. I'm just saying how it's just, it's just worth it to make that extra effort because it makes you feel just a little bit better. But y'all, it took so much out of me. So much. To tell you guys, our, our support group is confidential. 
So, you know, of course, I can't talk about what, uh, what other people were saying, but I can talk about what I said. And one of the questions was, was, what's something that you're proud of, but leave your medical condition out of it? So, of course, there's a lot of older, pe older people, and uh, I don't have any children. I'm not married or anything like that, so I had to stay true to myself. I said, well, I have to mention my condition because my condition is what makes me who I am today. I'm able to be inspired by it and to inspire others, and I'm proud of that. And um, everyone loved my answer, and it's the truth because without my condition and the many things that I've been through with this condition, I wouldn't be the same person that I am today. I told them that it has made me appreciate so many things that you would not even think to appreciate. And that's most important to me is just staying true to who I am and stay true to who you are. Like if I meet you, just be you, you know? Like if you meet me in person, I'm the same me. You know, you don't switch up. You just stay true to who you are and that's going to take you a lot of places. You know, whether people like you or don't. People are not always going to like you, but if you stay true to who you are, you'll go far. And you stay humble and you're not afraid to listen to other I'm not gonna say like critiques about you, but you're not afraid to listen to the bad about you. Maybe you can listen to it and take something from it and say, hmm, maybe that is something that can be changed or maybe that is something that I can work on. And I'm like that. I'm not just about to say, there's nothing I need to work on. There's so much I need to work on. <laughs> and I can't admit that. So, yeah, that's what I took from it. I'm really, really happy that they're having it. Um, hopefully, I won't have to go to another one because I would get long soon <laughs> before the next meeting. But, you know, if if I'm still here, I will go to the next one. I will try to attend all of them. If I'm not feeling well, I probably won't. But, you know, if I'm feeling well, I will attend most of them. So, right now, what I'm going to do is just take off this makeup i don't know how to explain it but i like to play in makeup but not like wear it all day every day so it's time for it to come off and for me to get comfortable so i will see y'all in my comfortable mode in a little bit okay when you wash your face it just gets dry but anyway so okay if you just pay attention in your life there's all kind of things that can inspire you so I'm constantly looking for stuff to inspire me so the lady that delivered the meds because uh, the mats go in this cabinet right here in that cabinet right there so she had a whole rack of keys and so she said I hope this key fits so she put that key in that one didn't fit then she said okay this key better fit so she put that key in it didn't fit so she said, she went through like four keys, basically, before she got to that right key and it fit. And so what I took from that was that, you know, I use that, I'm like, it's just like life. What we do is we try to take these keys that don't fit and we try to force it in there. 
Then at just the right moment and time, that key that fits perfectly, it fits perfectly and it's, it unlocks whatever it is that, that you have to go through. So it's like, you might have to go through a few keys before you can unlock that door. So I was just really inspired by that. I'm like, okay. I'm looking at her and I'm just watching her go through these keys and I'm like, okay. I'm having, you know, I'm having to go through some keys right now to unlock, you know, the, the door that's just so beautiful for me, but that's okay. These keys are, you know, they're getting fitted. They're getting fitted for that door. Yeah, so, yeah, I just thought it was just so amazing how God brought that to me. And I'm sharing it with you guys, so hopefully you guys can take something from that. But it was just really beautiful. Um, and everybody, I haven't got a chance to talk to nobody yet, and it's almost 5 o'clock. And they're probably like, where are you? I told them I was going to the group, but, you know, I still got to catch up. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit. So yeah, I'm literally freaking tired, like exhausted. I didn't even get to do my rehab. I like skipped it because I'm like, I am really tired. So now I'm about to, where is it at? My head is hurting, so I'm about to have some green tea. I need to call for some water, some hot water. So I can rest well tonight. My nurse won't be waking me up all night. Well, it's not just the nurse, it's be the nurse, the respiratory therapist, and vital sign. And it's like one after another, so how can you get any real sleep? You can't. So, I'm going to try to make it clear tonight. I don't want no vitals. Uh, you don't have to come check my oxygen. <laughs> Bye. Finish with it. Got my little water. I fixed my little thing because it was coming off easily, so we fixed that. Other than that, I'm ready for shift change, baby. It's about 35 minutes. I'm gonna be in so early tonight. I might not even edit this vlog. I don't know. Depending on how I feel. I know it's not much footage because I really didn't do anything tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, my mom will be in the vlog. She will be here tomorrow. You guys say that I'm much more alive when she's here. So, um, yeah, she's going to be here tomorrow and spend all tomorrow with me. Maybe I can get her to give me some good food. Something good. I don't know. Over the weekend, my nurse, he's Filipino. Oh, my gosh. I had my first filipino meal it was so good like i have been missing out i wouldn't mind another meal like that that meal like it was one of those meals that just like you just wanted to sleep afterwards it was so good literally when i ate that filipino meal it had me thinking i was filipino shoot oh it was so good it was delicious. I have really been enjoying this. If you guys like tea, get this green tea, the Moroccan mint kind. It is, I I like, it's, it's kind of sweet. And y'all know I like sweet stuff. <laughs> and so, I like this one. I actually like it better than the jasmine one, but I like the jasmine one too, but this one is kind of sweet to me, so I tend to like this one a little more. Oh, I need to edit this. I love you guys. <laughs> Don't forget, my GoFundMe link is always posted below. So just always told you guys that I was going to try to promote it more. So I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, this is my first video. I'm actually doing it in, right. <laughs> but I'm trying. So it's this link below. So share updates on there. So yeah, you can read those. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I love y'all. Mm-hmm.